for the majority of Brazil's history, the population was on the coast in Rio de Janeiro, in Sao Paulo, in Fortaleza, in Recife, those Porto Alegre, those big coastal cities. And, and then in the 1950s, the government realized that, wow, you know, 99% of our population is on the coast and we don't have anything in the interior. There's no economy, you know, there's, there's nothing, there's no land being utilized out there. We need to find a way to do it. And so the president decided that they would create a new capital take the capital city from Rio and build a brand new one right in the middle of the country. And that was what Brasilia was. So they built a road out in the middle of nowhere as, you know, in cement trucks as far as the eye could see out into the wilderness of Brazil. And they built this man-made city. And they built it in the shape of an airplane. And the, the, the north and the south wings are residential areas with a lot of apartment buildings and, and nice homes and this fuselage and the, and the cabin of the plane and the tail were a lot of the government amenities you know the agricultural you know m ministry and the ministry of self-defense and and all these things and so the and then the, the but the government and the wealthier people lived inside the actual airplane perimeter, you know, and I don't know the exact length of the airplane, but you can see it from space, you know, the shape of it, and then the people that built the city, the workers and a lot of people that worked in the city would live in these, they called them satellite cities, or cidade satellites, outside around the, the airplane, and so there was, in my mission, there was one ward in the south wing of the airplane and one ward in the north wing and each of those were the stake centers for two different stakes that would kind of branch out but the majority of the wards are out in the, the satellite cities and so that's kind of a little bit about Brazil and Brasilia 